Hello and welcome to the 31st part in this series, Programming HS Engine in JavaScript. So now we've finished the Generate Moves function, we can actually get on with writing the functions to make and unmake a move on the board. And before we start writing the actual make move function, we need to do a couple of videos preparation for this. And this one is just adding in three small functions into defs.js that will update our position key. I'm in board.js at the moment, and if you remember, we have this function called generate position key where we generated the hash key for the position. And we did that by starting off with, in this case, we call it final key, and exclusively ORing that with each piece at its with its relevant piece and square, the relevant random number, we'd fill this piece keys array with, you remember, uh, quite a few videos ago, then with the side key, and then we used the on passant square if it wasn't no square also, and then also the castling permission. Well, what happens when we make a move is we need to update our key to reflect the new position on the board. So say we've got a piece moving uh, from or a white pawn moving e2 to e4, as we make the move, we'll need to do effectively white pawn and e2. And what this has the effect of, as I explained when I talked about the exclusive or, is actually taking out, so hashing out a white pawn on e2, and then we will need to do a hash another call to this exclusive or with the white pawn on e4 to hash it back in effectively on e4. So we need to write some functions that we'll use in make move to actually do this rather than putting these lines sort of spread about inside the make move because we don't just do the moving of the piece in one place in make move, make move because not only do we have a piece moving, we could have a piece removed in case of a capture, we could have a piece changing in the case of a promotion and also a rook moving in the case of a castle, not just the king. So it's better for clarity anyway, not for performance, but for clarity to write some separate functions to do this. And they're not very difficult, and we'll put them in defs.js, and I'm just going to put them underneath this square off board here. So I'm going to call the first one then function, and, uh, function, and I'm going to call it hash piece. And we're going to hash, obviously, the piece and the square. And this will work in exactly the same way that it's actually been done inside the f generate pos key here. So I'm just going to take this here. But obviously, we're not going to use final key. We're going to use game board and then dot pos key, I think it is. I'm just going to double check that, seeing as I've had so many typos so far. Somewhere at the top. Yes, it's pos key like that. So the first function there is just going to be called hash piece in this way. And we're going to take our piece and hash it out or in, depending on how we want to do it. And likewise, as I said, it's very simple in this video, we're going to need something to hash the castling permission as well. And for this, obviously, we don't actually need, and I'm going to put all this on one line, any arguments into this function. So we'll just take the game board position key and exclusive or then with, and we'll take the castle keys. And again, here we'll have the game board dot castle permission in this way and I'm just going to copy that and of course semicolons required there and we'll hash then the side as well so I'll make this actually capitals as well except this time we'll be using the side key and we don't need any kind of argument for this And last but not least, we can write the function to hash the on passant key, and we'll call this ep hash ep. And here, obviously, we use the game board dot, and then on pass, and we surround that with again, just as we did in the generate position key function, then with the piece keys again. Okay. And one more thing I just want to reiterate, if you're wondering about why we're using just the piece keys here without multiplying by an index, well, remember we're saying effectively that we're using the piece empty with our on passant square to get the random key, so we never have a clash with any of the keys that will be used by the piece type, because a piece type is never zero, it's always one for white pawn or higher. So that then's the four hash 
key functions written for the make move function and it for this video. In the next video, we're going to write the functions to add, remove, and move a piece on the board before getting into the make move function itself. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.